how can I help you, officer? I'm here for some gear. No, I ain't gonna sell nothing to a cop. Well, I might not be a cop anymore. Oh, yeah? You gonna party with me this time? Or are you just gonna be a little bitch? Just let me in. Show me yours, and uh, I'll show you mine. <laughs> Come on in, officer. That was Jackie when we last saw her in season two of Hightown. And we got good news today, people. Hightown is coming back January 26th of 2024 with eight incredible episodes. But then we've got the bad news. This is the last season. But the good news on the bad news is that when it's a last season, anything is possible. And we're going to dive into this thing and hopefully Thor Odin's son's father didn't do anything too crazy to Monica. I think I found a clue in this trailer. We'll dive in. Let's go. I'm up early for the dealers come out. Everybody is outside till the killers come out. You ain't eating, you just act full. I'm in pack full. Dozen funerals in a month. I got that whole. I will give it to niggas in all rap forms. Ignatius out right now on all platforms. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you the rundown on all things Hightown season three but let's go through the trailer that they dropped most of the trailer is a lot of what happened last season but there's one or two nuggets in there that i think we should discuss before we break down what's gonna happen so let's watch that trailer and then let me show you the things in the trailer i think are new and we'll talk about it you know i found a dead body yesterday she just washed up on the beach. I know all the players on the Cape. Drugs and drug addicts. Killers. I work for the federal government. My name's Jackie Kinona. Okay, so one thing that looked fairly new in the trailer is we got our man Frankie who's behind bars. And damn it. Being in jail looks so good on that ass, don't it, for everything he's done. He's got this. But we know that there is a lot of drama brewing because of what Renee did at the end of the season, and we'll get to her in a minute. We got my main man, Osito, the best anti-hero in TV. He's supposed to be a bad guy, but the fans love him. It looks like he done found his connect in New York. And I'll get back to him in a minute because you know I got something to say about Janelle. This looks to be a new photo of Renee and Ray, the new little family with little Frankie Jr. They look to be out having a good time somewhere, kissing and hugging. And then we get a picture of something on fire. I don't remember this from last season, so I'm thinking this happened in the new season. And damn it, that could be uh, Renee's house for all I know. Renee and Ray's crib for what they done to Frankie. Because, you know, Frankie's not going to let this go. He's not going to let it go. He's not going to let it go. Then we have, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Owen Farley shooting at the King of the Cape, Osito. Now, I know this is a new picture because look at that haircut on Osito. And look at how he firing the hell out of that gun, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it looks like he has a flamethrower gun. He's peeling that cap back at Owen Frawley. And I just wonder, and I have an idea of what kind of mayhem is going to fall out with Osito because he's trying to become the king of the cape. And there's going to be somebody trying to step on his territory. Then we get Frankie in jail and he's winking at someone. And I got details on that too, ladies and gentlemen. Last but scarily not least, we got our girl Jackie. She's been drugged into the closet. Now, when I think of people getting dragged into the closet, I think of that scary movie with that damn clown. I forgot his name. It, I think it is. And she's got a little bit of blood on her shirt. And she's fighting with all her life. And we know Jackie is as tough as they come. I mean, she's like adamantium. Or if you're from Wakanda forever, she's like that vibranium. She's tough as nails. And you see she's got her knee up. This is probably Thor Odin's son's daddy trying to finish whatever he was trying to start with her, but it's not going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. This is probably going to be early on when that first episode comes on. 
And now let's get into what's new on the trailer. But before I do that, people, I just want to shout out um, a heartfelt condolences to the family of Andre Brower, renowned actor, loved and adored by many in Hollywood. He died yesterday at the age of 61 due to some health complications. And he not only did Glory and a whole lot of, he's familiar, you, you guys see a lot of him being a cop. But one thing that stood out to me was he did a lot of voice work because he had one of these very distinctive voices. He played Dark Side in one of the DC animated um, cartoons. And his voice to this day is still one of the best voices I've heard for any villain. Condolences to those that loved his acting and condolences just on behalf of the people that loved him. The season synopsis, my people. Let me read you this. Fishery service agent Jackie Quinones is off the wagon and off the force in the final season of Hightown. But that doesn't stop her from <laughs> careening into the dark underbelly of picture-perfect Cape Cod to save a missing woman, and I know that missing woman's name, and a murdered sex worker. And I think we saw that murdered sex worker in the trailer. Meanwhile, her former colleagues, Rhea Brusso and Alan Centilli, are focused on taking down drug syndicates, but despite their best efforts, the drugs keep flowing. This attracts Shane Frowley, a gangster from Boston, looking to cut himself in on Cape's drug trade and making an enemy of Aceto while he's at it. I told y'all, alliances are made and old loyalties are questioned in this beautiful but corrupt place where nothing is as it seems. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into the new characters, let's just shout out the amazing cast. Monica Raymond, Atkins Estimate, Amani Lewis, Tanya Big Glands, James Dale, Amari Nolasco, Don Norwood, Kate Miller, and of course, Raleigh Vocal. And if you check my YouTube channel, I've got some of those individuals up here that I did an interview with. And then we'd be remiss if we didn't mention the outstanding work of the creator, one of the writers, producers of Hightown, Rebecca Cutter, also the showrunner, did an amazing job with this show. I hate to see it go. And a big shout out to the producer, Ellen Swartz, who stood behind this show, championed this show. And need I say anything about Jerry Brockheimer? He's the man. You guys know that. First character breakdown, Shane Frawley, played by Garrett Dillon Hunt. Check this out. A charming gangster and businessman with plans for the cape, but he's going to bump heads with the king of the cape, which is Osito. Now, James Dillon Hunt, ladies and gentlemen, I love this guy as a bad guy. Um, if you take a good look at him, you can tell that he's going to be ready to throw this thing to hell. He has that voice that gets on your nerves, that's old Boston when he's acting, and you know he's sinister. So I can't wait to see where the writers took his story because Aceto can be dangerous, but Aceto is also a fan favorite. So I don't see him getting the best of Aceto, but at the end of the day, Aceto ain't got many bodies to help him in this fight. Then, ladies and gentlemen, we have Rachel, played by Janie Sarelli. And this is where it comes into play for Frankie. Lonely woman living with grandma. <laughs> what, the what the fuck is this? Some anti-Republican mess? <laughs> you got the fat guy who's in the basement living with his mama. But no, she lives with grandma, likes writing to prisoners, and goes down a dangerous path. Oh, okay. We have uh, a woman that enjoys writing to prisoners. Who's in prison? Frankie's in prison. Who could create danger? Frankie. Bing, 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 bing. Post your comments if you think that's what's going to happen. I do. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we have Sarah, pay, played by Kaya Rosenthal. She's going to be a rookie cop with a millennial mindset and is a thorn in the side of Ray. But ladies and gentlemen, judge, judging by the way she looks, the actress looks, um, she could also be um, the, the type of woman that Ray wants to put his thorn inside of her. She has a striking resemblance to Renee. And even though she might be a thorn in Ray's side, 
we know he likes a challenge when it comes to a woman. And I could easily see this young lady being someone that, that hates him in the beginning. They hate each other. But then she becomes a problem for Renee's relationship with Ray because, um, damn it, she's about as hot as Riley Vocal. And I just wonder how they're going to dress her up in this show this season. But I can't wait for the drama because you know it's going to be good. Owen Frawley, played by Michael Dreyer, Shane's nephew, <laughs> who got kicked off the Red Sox for juicing, using steroids. <laughs> damn, bruh. <laughs> Um, he's a reckless drug dealer and a loose cannon. It seems like every drug organization has some damn loose cannon who's too eager to be a bad guy. And this young brother right here, ladies and gentlemen, he looks like the perfect casting for what I just read. He looks young. He looks eager. He looks like he wants to be a loose cannon. And this loose cannon probably is going to turn into Nick Cannon and get split into 20 different parts like their children by Osito. Post your comments and let me know what you think about this guy. Then we have Veronica, played by Ellie Baron. She's a working girl that goes mi missing and becomes Jackie's new obsession. Oh, Lord, that Jackie. As hard as Jackie is, Jackie also has a very big heart, especially for the girls of the Cape, um, the women that are sex workers on the Cape that get caught up in stuff. Jackie is just, you know, she puts that cape on for them. But we don't know what's going to happen with Jackie in law enforcement, how she's going to be associated with the right people. And we still got to wonder about our boy, Eddie Murphy. So um, while she's going to be trying to look for this girl, you know, Jackie's going to go down a road of hell. And I can't wait to see how it happens. Last but definitely not least, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be another one of those bittersweet moments for me. Janelle, who was played by Crystal Lee Brown last year, is now being played by Taja V. Simpson. And if you recall, she was a tough PT at Providence Prison, Providence Town Prison, and could really, really handle the prisoners. But one thing happened. She couldn't handle a seat toe. <laughs> well, she handled them, but she fell in love with this cat. And if you remember last season, they gave my man a love scene and they put the king of the cape in a damn full size bed. Take a look at this. No, baby. I can't. I gotta take this. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I could get down to New York. If we're gonna do this, I need to know what I'm getting myself into. How about we go for round two? Well, Crystal Lee Brown, I love you. And it's because of you, Rebecca Cutter, and the, all the good folks at Hightown. I'm writing scripts now, but I can tell you right now, got to be more careful. You got to have a love scene with the king of the cape and this young woman. And it's got to be in a king bed. It can't be in a full-size college-ass bed like they did you in. Because this young lady is fire, okay? And the king of the cape, we already seen, he spoils his women. He get them... Um, explorers and F-150 trucks and shit. So you know they're going to have to have a love scene with the King of the Cape and this young lady right here. Damn. But in everything that's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think is going to happen with a couple of characters that they didn't mention? We still got Amani Lewis who broke away from the police. We still got my homegirl Tanya Big Glands who was in a relationship with Monica. Where are those stories going to go? And where ultimately is the battle between Shane and Aceto going to lead us? So ladies and gentlemen, please post me all your comments. Be sure to follow me as I'm going to be doing these reviews every single week as the show starts. You want to go back and catch season two so that you can be updated before the show starts in January. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe. Till that next sex is hell video, y'all. Get ready for Hightown. I know I'm ready. I'll see you.